Malin comes up short tonight, 44-27 against Coco. This man, Andrew Plummer, committed to USF, had two touchdowns, interception return of 57 yards, and a touchdown catch of uh, 10 yards right before halftime. You know, instead of kicking the field goal, you guys got aggressive there. What, what did you think when you got the play call and knew the ball was coming your way? Oh, I, I always knew it. I knew I, knew I was going to catch it because we work on this every day in practice, man. Jump ball, that's my favorite place. Ever since freshman year, that's been my favorite place, so I just had to make sure I came down with the ball, keep my eyes on the ball. Both those plays seem to give you guys some momentum. You know, tell us about the sideline once you got back there after both the, both oh, of your touchdowns. There was hype. I had to I had to calm down a little bit because I was getting tired because you know I'm going both ways, so I can't get too hyped. And I was gonna get tired when it was time for me to get back on the field. So yeah, it, it definitely brought some momentum to the game, but. Unfortunately, we didn't finish. Give us your perspective. Another play that really turned the tide was a fumble that got jarred out. Willie Gaines yeah. picks it up and goes 41 yards the rest of the way when it could have been a turnover, could have been a number of different things. Right. We didn't. We didn't finish. We should have. We got to go 100% every play. And when we seen that ball pop out, everybody should have been 100% to the ball. And we failed to do that. And Willie Gaines is a great athlete. I played with him 7 on 7. And he just made a good play, just like how he always did. You missed the first two games with the head injury. You know, how have you, as a senior, how have you tried to make up for lost time and, and help your guys get back on track? Every day in practice, it starts from practice, we have to grind. We have to grind, we have to grind. Because if anything else, them two missed games that I had, that taught me how to respect the game. And now I, re I feel like I really respect the game and I'm trying to do everything I can to get my brothers up so we could make a run deep in the playoffs. You still have three games left, three district games, Matanzas, New Smyrna Beach, and Seabreeze. You win those three games, you're in the playoffs again. How, how do you refocus and, and take what you learned and take what you know kind of negative experiences happened here tonight and, and try to put them out, out to pasture? It's just time to forget. We gotta forget. We gotta forget. We can't live with that on our shoulders because that's gonna, that's gonna wear us down. So looking forward, we just gotta practice harder. Now we know what we gotta do in practice. Now we know the things that we was lacking on. Now we know we can't lack on those things. Now we got to pick it up. Real quick on re the recruiting front, of course, you're committed to the University of South Florida. Yes, you know, what's the, what's the plan from here? Have you have you scheduled any visits, any of those type of things? Uh, no, I, I actually went to a game last week when they played East Carolina, and that was great. That was a great uh, opportunity that I had. What did you think of the hike. experience? Oh, yeah, it was loud. I'm just ready to get up there. Just ready to get up there. Yes, sir.